How are you guys doing? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jason Morrison. Today, guys, I'm bringing you another tutorial. And it's on in the fact that I actually got off of another YouTuber. It was very stylistic and I definitely think that you're going to be able to mix this effect with a bunch of other effects and just kind of mess around with it, you know what I mean? Be creative with it. And I'm sure really dope stuff can come out of it. But in the context that I was using it, I filmed a dance video for a client a few months ago and uh, I you know, discovered the dance may be a genre that I kind of want to tap into, but I use this effect to kind of spice up the flow of the video, you know, add some variety and, you know, especially with a dance video, I just kind of had my Ronin S in underslung mode and I did a one, you know, one long shot, just kind of getting her dancing uh, in downtown Boston. But uh, I think this effect is definitely going to be useful, not just with dance videos, you know, in that genre, I think it is really dope, but really anywhere that you guys can mix it into. So without a long winded intro, let's hop into Premiere Pro so I can kind of show you guys what I'm talking about. And uh, I do just want to quickly show a quick clip from my video uh, as an example of how you can kind of use this effect to spice up your videos. And then obviously I'll show you guys how to do it on your own. So. Let me play a little clip of this real quick in Premiere and you guys can kind of get a feel for what I'm talking about. Now, it may not seem like much. You guys are like, what, just zooming in? Um, yes and no. So typically in Premiere Pro, when you zoom in, obviously, you know, you use your keyframes or whatever. You go from say, let me use my, this clip as an example. Obviously you would go from say, we're, we're at 35 scale right now. If I keyframe that right here and now all of a sudden we'll be at 80 scale. This is typically how it would look in Premiere Pro if you just do it, uh, a regular zoom. In fact, let me move it up closer just so it's uh, a better example one-to-one -one where the zoom happens quickly. And you guys will kind of see what I'm talking about as to where the transform effect with the shutter angle, I realized I didn't let you guys know what that was till now. Using transform the shutter angle is different from just keyframing a scale uh, by itself. I'll play it right now for you guys. You know what I mean? Like, I'm sure I could have did that, and I did in a few parts of the video, but I purposely used the transform shutter angle effect because it's a lot more in your face. It's it's much quicker, it adds that motion blur to the zoom, and uh, it just looks really, really smooth as an effect more than just trying to zoom in. And you guys will see what I'm talking about. Now guys, the way you wanna do this effect, the transform shutter angle effect where it zooms in, you wanna, obviously, you wanna go over to the effects panel, you wanna grab transform, um, you want to drag this over to your clip. Now I have it on my clip already, so I'm not going to drag it over again. One of the key things you guys want to know or should know is that you don't want to scale in up here in the regular options. You want to scale in down here in the transform effect, uh, as well as your position. If you want to move position for whatever you're trying to go for. Uh, but let me show you guys an example without, uh, going on too long and we'll play it right from about there. Now notice how it was super quick, but let me, let me play it back one more time. Now we have that motion blur when she goes to clap her hands. You guys can see right here, she's going up to clap her hands. I shutter angle zoom in with the motion blur. Boom, look at that. Boom, now we're, we're kind of up close. So the viewer kind of feels like they're moving forward with their hands as they extend outward and then boom she claps her hands we zoom back out we zoom right back out so the viewer feels like he kind of pushed us away or you know what i mean like it adds a little bit of flair to a video especially in dance like i've said and i'm sure there's a lot of stylistic ways you can use this in a music video or any other types of videos but those are the two that come to mind let me show you guys how to do this from top to bottom what you want to do let me get rid of these keyframes now same premise. We'll go up for right when she starts extending her hands to do the clap. I'm gonna pretend as if I'm walking right through with you guys if you want to do the same exact effect. So you want to go to transform, like I said, drag that over your clip, it's there already, perfect. You want to go to scale. Now for you guys, use composition shutter angle is gonna be on, click that off. Turn that off, boom. Go over to scale if you wanted to do this and we'll put a keyframe as well, make sure you put a keyframe. We'll scale in, I say 130, uh, 150. Boom, so our keyframe's set for 150 right there. And then if you wanna move the position of whatever you're trying to do, you wanna click keyframe 
four position as well drop one down right there now as she's going to open her hands to do the clap let me move it back a little bit so you guys can see she's going to open her hand right when she does the clap she kind of has her hand up that's where i want us to now be zoomed in and i'll show you guys so we'll put 150 zoom for scale and then we'll move the position over just so her hands are in the middle of the frame so it kind of feels like we're traveling with her hands. So now we're zoomed in. We have use composition shutter angle off. And as soon as she claps her hands, now I want to zoom out. So she kind of pushed us away. The viewer kind of feels like she pushed us away with like some sort of force. And it just adds, you know, a stylistic effect to the video. Now, place keyframe down just before she claps her hands. So once again, that way we're keeping the scaled in frame instead of slowly zooming out. Because if we just zoomed out right after these keyframes right here then it would slowly zoom out so that's why you want to put a keyframe down to maintain the zoom in that we have boom she claps her hand i'm gonna put it like right there now you can put another keyframe down one two scale and position we're gonna zoom back out 100 scale position you want to return that back to normal and now we're zoomed back out and you guys are gonna see how that looks and the reason why I put those two so close together. Now, you could even make that a little bit quicker. If you guys saw the motion blur compared to a regular zoom, I'll play that back. You can kind of see it right there, right? That's the difference between a regular scale is you have that motion blur and it kind of feels like you're really transporting. Now, if I move these keyframes a little closer, it'll give it a more aggressive effect to it. So. Let me move this, say, right there. And let me play this back for you guys so you guys can see the difference when you move the keyframes even closer and make the zoom quicker and more aggressive. And it just adds, you know, a stylistic look to when she claps. Let me play it back with no effect on there. Same thing. I feel like when you see her kind of do that, you would expect something to happen or at least feel something to get you in the motion, but you don't feel anything. The camera's just panning or moving and it's just nothing nothing's going on you just feel like something should be going on right there now add uh, the transform distort shutter angle effect back and it just makes that part of the video that much cooler so hopefully i broke that down for you guys fairly easy like i said you want to put transform onto the clip so you put keyframes for scale and position if you want to move the position as well turn off use composition shutter angle and then scale in scale out however you like and you know obviously if you move them farther away the zoom and the blur will be a little bit longer if you move them closer it'll be more aggressive and i think it looks more stylistic that way but anyways guys my name is jason morris i hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial put down in the comments if i could have broke it down a little bit easier i'm still new to the tutorial so there's always room for me to improve really excited for the next video i want to bring you guys it's more storytelling or along the lines of just trying to invoke emotion and tell a story about how sometimes i have my creative blocks and just doubts becoming a filmmaker i think it'll resonate with a lot of you guys it's not just about filmmaking it's more about life and just realizing if you don't change then nothing ever will change and uh really excited for you guys to see that video but make sure to hit subscribe if that sounds interesting and you did enjoy this tutorial or you like the other content on my channel make sure to check those videos out but yeah it's been jason morrison guys hopefully you guys come along for the ride and i'll see you guys in the next one deuces